Like you said, jumping around. Who, who said somebody jumped? From what I heard, it was the other way around. So I don't know. But I don't know. I wasn't there. I only heard one side story, and that's it. <laughs> it's funny. So if I told you right now a lie about somebody, and just because I'm famous and I talk to you, and, and the other person doesn't say nothing, you guys are all going to believe me? Feel me? Like, I don't got hate for anyone, but I just don't pay attention. I don't care what A says. I don't care what B says. And I don't care what C says. It takes two to tangle, guys. If people get into it, there's got to be reasons. I don't know, and, I don't, and I'm not here to know about cheese man right now because I don't know. I'm telling you guys, I don't know. So I'm trying to express to you guys, I'm on, I'm on just... Whatever they got between each other, I don't know. That's between them. I met Jenny. She was cool to me. I met Pinks, and I know Pinks for years, and she's always been cool. I know Down. I met him recently, not too long ago. He's cool. Who else is in there? I don't know. That's, I mean, I don't know people's makeup people or who, I don't know nothing. You feel me? So let's just keep it positive. And that's cool if you're Team Pink's in here. It's cool. It's cool for whatever you are. It's not, it's not a competition. Internet doesn't get nowhere, guys. So we have to expose and tell anyone that has paperwork on that kind of criteria. And that's it. We're not hating on no one. Like, if someone says, hey, I like SP Music or something, cool, bump it. I wouldn't. That's cool. But you, it's cool. But we have to let everybody know so you guys are aware. That's it. So I did that once or twice a couple times. And uh, people take it offensive like, oh, you're hating or I'm hating or something. And then I'm sure nobody's hating. It's just speaking reality. We want to we want to protect the kids. I, I guess some people I understand some of you guys might have some weird ways how you have kids. You don't even care. You probably slap your kids around. You throw them. You don't even care. I don't know. I'm different. My kid, you know, I, we try to take the best care of the kids till they're at least 18. You feel me? Exactly. But it's about letting them know so they know. And that's it. And I did. I'm not here every day talking about it. But when, when people comment, then I have to, like, like bring it up here and there. What's happening? It's your homeboy, Mr. Capone. Um, the episode of vlogs, reaction to what I said and the subjects at hand. Miss Lady Pinks versus Jenny69, Mr. Capone Speaks. All right, guys. So before I speak, um, I'm gonna I have to get deep. So I have to I have to get really deep and explain stuff to you guys. Hip hop is meeting up with entertainment in these new times, and when hip hop and real, because hip hop is from the streets, you already know it's from the streets, and is real, and entertainment also is a form of hip hop in today's times. Um, people with different kind of looks, different kind of styles are hip hop. Hip hop is everything, right? But it started from the urban communities. It's for the streets and entertainment is entertainment, right? But at the end of the day, we have to coincide with each other and both learn to get along with each other and be part of each other's community in a way. But there's certain rules and stuff that no matter how it goes, it's just hard to coincide, right? So on that note, let's start this off right now. Jenny 69, Miss Lady Pinks. First of all, rule of the streets. I know it's a new generation and sometimes they don't know what's up with the streets, but some people still have the ethics of the streets. Rule of the streets is most likely if there's some kind of drama, don't take it to the, the internet, don't take it to the rap songs, a microphone, don't make a diss. Now, when someone does that, then yeah, you have a right to speak back or still keep it G, hush. Either or. Best policy is keep it hush, like always, right? But then there's also, um, there's also uh, sometimes you got to just speak. Now, with me, as you know, in the rap game for years, a lot of people spoke on my name. I like to keep it hush, right? I don't speak nothing. If you see something on the streets, that's when... Maybe we can speak on it, right? So um, that's the way I, I kind of was, you know, raised. Every, I mean, a lot of people were raised uh, to keep it solid. But uh, in this time and age, we're living in a whole different world, guys. And uh, 
you got to kind of get with the time, but don't lose your morals. And that's what I do. I like to not do. So on that behalf, I like to speak as a middle ground to basically this whole situation. Now, you've seen the video that I just posted right now. Someone clipped me. Um, I don't know. I guess I don't know if they were trying to make me look bad or look like I'm taking somebody's side or nothing, but I was speaking facts. First of all, facts of the matter is, we heard one side of the story, and uh, I wish we didn't hear one side of the story. I wish we heard no stories. I wish we had everything talked in person. Maybe somebody can communicate me. I could communicate the third party and see what's the problem and handle this like it's supposed to be handled. Handle it whether correctly, strictly, respectfully, or just in general. That's the best policy, but obviously... Someone spoke their mind, and there's people speaking on the side. And, you know, the codes that we were raised is to keep it quiet. So I know how I was raised. So then I heard the other side. I haven't heard too much on the other side. So just to do my little homework, obviously, I talked to one side, and uh, it didn't match with the story of the side that I heard. Now, I'm not here picking sides, and I'm not here choosing against who's better who's right who's wrong right but there's always two three sides of the story you feel me four sides five sides six sides of the story right there's a few sides of the stories and um it takes two to mingle it takes drama to happen and it happens right so i'm not here to uh tell the story what i know is when miss lady pink's Feels like she wants to address it, she will address it. Because she ain't tripping. I talked to her. She was at the mall shopping. She was actually in the Tyler Mall in Riverside. And she's like, oh, yeah, I'm right here. Where you at? Riverside. I'm like, oh, Tyler Mall? I was like, oh, damn. Okay. Um, she didn't really have nothing to say. But she says, yeah, I know what's going on. And uh, I feel like a lot of people are just listening to one side. So I guess I'm going to have to speak my side. So I was like, yeah, you know what? That'd be good. You speak your side. <clears throat> because people, you know, like just get into church or just keep it solid and don't even speak. That's how most speak. But I guess there's more than just speaking side. There's now like it's turned into like something that we don't even want it to turn into. And Jenny, this is to you. You know how to get a hold of me. Uh, I don't got no hate for you. I, I never hated you. you. We talked. I showed you love, showed you respect um, as a female. And uh, I feel like for you too, it's better for you to try to figure out the situation till it gets to drama. I know earning points on the internet is not earning points on the streets. So you might get pumped up like, hell yeah, all the people are behind me or they're not behind you. And you'll be like, oh, why not? You can get mad, whatever. Internet is the internet, guys. Everybody likes to troll. It is what it is, but it'd be grateful, good for you, that situation to try to fix it. Now, I don't know, like the situation, you know, I'm going to tell it like it is. Um, police were called and I just hate to hear that. You know what I'm saying? I just hate to hear that in our community, we have to try to put somebody else down in some way, whether someone felt like they got put down in one way, because like I said, there's two sides of the story. East side could feel like they got put down in some kind of way. So... I just hate when it goes to outside the community to resolve the problem. It should be obviously in-house and this and that. But, hey, it's understandable. It's entertainment. She's doing entertainment. She's always doing entertainment. But you are also in a cholo set. And a song's called like a cholo, lean like a cholo. So, you know, at the end of the day, Jenny, I mean, you are, you're going to expect cholos and cholas. And number three... I know for a fact that I, I can't speak on it once again, but I know for a fact no one tried to set up nobody from what I heard, but that's not my business. Now, I'm just saying this because at the end of the day, you know, like I'm trying to help everyone's situation. And I know Jenny's not a bad person. And I don't know, you know, Jenny, maybe the circumstances should have been different, but we don't know. I wasn't there. I don't know. I don't know the side of the story. So obviously she going to speak her mind. Jenny spoke her mind. Now, I feel like as a community, we all should just let it go. Let them handle it. Discuss themselves. Because 
irritating people, whether it's Jenny, Pings, Down, anybody in this whole scenario that supposedly happened, right? Um, it just causes problems, guys. And um, we're just going to leave it at that. We're going to let them figure it out themselves. Like I said, I don't take no sides. I know Jenny, she was cool. I know Pink's for a very long time, and I would tell you this. She's always righteous with her words, and she's always pretty solid. Yeah, she could get a little up and turned up, but obviously there's going to be a reason why she might be turned up. Um, Down, I can't say I know him too good, but Down's always been a solid guy. He's always been a real one, and uh, from talking to him, definitely he's a real one, and he don't play those kind of games of anything negative. So I'm going to leave it at that. Um, I had to speak on it because I go to my TikTok live. I go to my IG live. Everyone want to ask me questions and want to like, yo, I got people saying, yo, I'm team pinks. What's up? We team pinks. I'm like, hey, chill out. Team Jenny, team Jenny, chill out. You know, I wasn't there. People even say you're the one that attacked a female. <laughs> like I hear all kinds of rumors, guys. I'm sure you guys heard crazy rumors. And it gets to the point where some of the trolls of one side are pissing me off that I I think 90% of people would lash out and start dissing people. But I'm a mature man, and I know I'm not going to listen to the trolls to choose a side because of a troll side, right? So I'm trying to keep it as much as um, cordial as possible. Maybe I could be a middle ground to help the situation. Obviously, in hip-hop, there's certain rules and stuff that – I hope it didn't get to that level because we already know these some things are not acceptable. And uh, it is hip hop, guys, and we are in rap. And uh, and there's especially our culture too, the homies culture, the Chicano culture, it's also deeply rooted in the morals and values that we all agree. I don't know people nowadays saying different morals and different values, but as I grew up, that's what attracted me to the neighborhoods and the families, and I felt at home because it was the same morals. Maybe if I was born in this generation, maybe I would been be who I am. I don't know. But uh, we have to kind of remember these morals too. Um, it's all about familia, family, uh, take care of yourself, show respect, and that's it. I mean, who knows? Maybe they have their own issues where they got into it or before or had a little different vibe and when they see each other, it came in another vibe, and that's it. That's we don't know. But from what I know, and I'm not going to say it, but what I know, it's nothing like what I heard on whatever side of the story, so we have to hear her side of the story, and then you guys be the judge, but you guys are not to be just to take sides, be, be argue, because this is just hurting both artists to put them in a position, or whoever artist is, right, to put them in a position to start going at it. Once again, I would like the situation to be fixed um, if possible. But uh, you know what I'm saying? It could be hard headers on both sides. But I mean, if someone reaches out and someone's sincere, then I know I can I could try to make it happen. But other than that, like I'm sure no one's backing down, and I'm sure no one's gonna do that. But when there's a also a door that can connect it, hey, it's always something we could try to fix and see what we can do. If not, it is what it is. I'm not involved in this. I gave my statement because people wanted to know. And, like, really, we shouldn't be talking technically, but there's already a lot of talk and a lot of things going on. I mean, <laughs> there's stuff that's making me like, whoa, it's, it's silly. It's real silly. And um, regarding this SPM thing, whatever, like I said, like, I don't really talk about them. I told you my opinion and how I feel about them. Just because someone likes the music, I'm not going to be like, I'm going to attack that person either. So there might have been on their situation, there might have been a different situation because that's just one person saying. But when you listen to music, that's on you. But my job as a homie is to let you know about a certain situation and let you know about paperwork and let you know so you guys understand and know. Other than that, that's that's it. Um, I know many people who does songs with that person, whatever, and I don't hold them accountable for anything that they've done. But they know, they know. If they don't, they don't. You know, I like to distance myself away from people who have different kind of, you know, stilos. You know what I'm saying? Like, 
I like to, I know I've been in situations where people that have a certain kind of mind frame are really solid and genuine, where people have different kind of mind frames. So I just decide, I feel like some mind frames is not for me, but everyone's for everyone. Some people don't care. Some people have like 10 baby mamas and they don't care and they don't take care of their kids. There's a lot of crazy stuff in this world we live in today. I mean, I'm not going to even tell you more of the stuff we hear. You know, kids in school nowadays where they're getting taught. I, and there's no hate for that either. But everyone has their own opinion. I'm a certain type of individual, and I'm going to stay that certain type of individual. And I just had to make a reaction because someone put this on TikTok. Someone tried to make it go viral. And uh, I figured, you know what? You know what? I'm going to speak on it. And um, I hopefully I didn't forget anything that I spoke right now. And I don't think, um, from what I know, there was no jump-ins or whatever like that, but I can't speak on it. I wasn't there. And for my know, Jenny's not that type of person to um, basically um, try to bang on you too, but I don't know. I mean, girls always have attitudes, so I don't know. And down, definitely... He's trying to handle a music video. I've been in circumstances where people fight in music sets and you tell one person who's over overacting, hey, you need to walk or something, take off, and then they get mad at me. So I understand. So I hopefully Jenny didn't take that as but hey, you know what? I have no say so. Let them handle the situation. Hopefully, we hear another side of the story. Hopefully, after that, it's over. Whatever they got between themselves, they figure it out. We stay out of it and we let them handle it. You know what I'm saying? Much love to everyone in their success. I just stay away from people with different kind of situations. You already know that. But other than that, I wish everyone success. And you know what time it is. All my real ones know what time it is too. And uh, yeah, man, that's it. That's my um, explanation because so many people have been asking. And I'm not here saying anyone did nothing because I, I don't. that's not what I heard. I don't feel figured from what I look at is if I'm, I, I feel like it's a mutual reaction from two parties and that's all I know. And I hope everybody fixes the situation and it can be fixable. Other than that, you guys have a good one. Your homie, Mr. Capone. I'm going to move on with this topic. I don't even want to talk about it again. Please don't keep making me talk about it. Let's talk about some positive stuff. Let's talk about how you can raise your family and get in the bag. Let's talk about what's happening in the world today more serious issue than a little minor situation <laughs> minor i mean there's kids starving there's kids that are hurt there's kids that are i mean crazy situation guys you feel me and i know everyone likes to instigate it and you guys as people watch the people who try to instigate stuff guys you watch this whole piece don't get little pieces of hair watch how people try to instigate it you already know the culprit we need, to, we need to clean that up. We need to keep it positive and give the real news, guys. Hopefully, that works and hopefully it does. Hey, even I could be a mess up and, and be a little offhand sometimes. But, hey, I have good, good intentions and hopefully it, I present it to you like that. Your homie, Mr. Capone, another episode of Vlogs. Um, it is what it is, guys. Much love.